Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 15 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about using LibGDX's Asset Manager to load uh, sounds and music into our game. Let's go ahead and take a sneak peek. Here we go. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and stick with me. So first off, let me show you a couple new assets that I've created inside of our Android Assets folder here. Uh, we have a new folder called Asset or Audio, and it has two subfolders called Music and Sounds. The Music folder has the original Mario music, uh, and the sounds are the break block, the bump, and the coin wave files. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and go to your Mario Bros uh, class here. And I want to read a warning that I just wrote here. Warning, using Asset Manager in a static way can cause issues, especially on the Android. Instead, you may want to pass around the Asset Manager to those classes that need it. But we will be using uh, the static context in this tutorial to save time. Now with that said, let's go ahead and create a new Asset Manager. Public static asset manager and call this manager and inside here we'll say manager equals new asset manager next we need to queue up all of our assets to be loaded by our manager and to do that we say manager dot load and we give it the path uh, to our assets from the assets folder so it's going to be audio uh, music mario music.ogg and then we tell it what type of asset this is in this specific case it's a music uh, asset so it's a music.class asset next let's go ahead and queue all of our sounds so manager.load audio sounds coin dot wave and it is a sound uh, asset Let's go ahead and copy this one twice. And so we have two more. The first one is bump. And the second one is break block. So since we're talking about asset manager, I feel like I need to tell you something that we're not necessarily going to be using currently. And that is the asynchronous uh, part of the asset manager. To load your assets uh, inside the render method, um, you would call uh, manager dot update, and this is uh, basically calling the manager to continue to load your assets. Now, once update update returns a boolean value, a true or false, uh, basically saying whether or not all your assets are updated or up uh, loaded. So if you wanted to tell if all your uh, assets were updated or loaded, sorry, you would just run a simple if statement and then put in any kind of uh, stuff within here that require those assets. Uh, but what we're going to do is basically a synchronous loading. So what we're going to say is manager dot finish loading right after we put in all of our assets to be queued. This basically blocks everything and says, go ahead and finish loading all the assets for now. So moving on uh, to our play screen here, we're gonna create a private music variable called music. And then down here somewhere inside of our constructor, we'll say music equals Mario Bros, since it's uh, static, like I said, don't use it uh, in production. Uh, manager dot get and then we can give it the name that we want and this is audio or the path that we want uh, music mario music dot ogg and then again we say that it's a music dot class file now let's set music dot set looping to true and music dot play so going on to our brick class here, let's just go ahead and get the sound file from our uh, manager and play it instantly. So manager or Mario bros dot manager dot to get and then we'll give it uh, the path audio sounds uh, break block dot wave and we'll say that it is a sound asset and then we can just go ahead and play it from right there.
So inside of our coin class, there's two sounds that we can play. First off, if the coin is active, and second off, if it's already been used up. Uh, so we'll say inside of our on head hit, if uh, get cell dot get tile dot id or get id equals the blank coin. Then I've just copied and pasted it from the break block here. We're going to go ahead and play the bump wave file. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and play the coin wave file. So hitting play here, we get the coin effect, we get the bump sound effect. We get the brick break uh, sound effect. And of course we have the Mario music sounds going on in the background. There we go, working as intended. So last thing here, let's go back to our Mario's Bros class. Uh, we're gonna generate a override method for our dispose function here. Um, and then we're gonna say manager dot dispose because we're done with it and for some reason I never disposed of our batch file we need to do that for sure so batch dot dispose so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you guys learned something I feel like we're making our game a little more tangible and a little more interactive and fun uh, so if you have any questions or comments or concerns over anything we talked about go ahead and post them below I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody um, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. Of course, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. But most importantly, please share it if you liked it, trying to grow this channel. Um, I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.